Southeast Queensland is losing grip of koalas, Australia's native mammal. This crisis has come to the point that koalas are listed as vulnerable in Southeast Queensland and could go extinct in the next six years. Koalas sleep in trees for up to 20 hours of the day and they have very poor sight, relying heavily on other senses such as their good hearing and acute sense of smell from their big black nose. This fussy marsupial eats a few types of low nutritional eucalyptus sleeve species. Drivers find it hard to see these small animals as their fur acts as camouflage and being grey it is the same colour as the road. The koala's bioregion includes open forests and woodland communities and their home ranges are defined by the koala's favourite leaves, trees and soil. These solitary animals prefer trees growing on fertile soils and along watercourses, the same areas where humans prefer for farming, housing and city development. Found in eastern states of Australia, especially around the coastal area, koalas are most commonly found in the Koala Coast area, including the Redland City and Moreton Bay regions. There used to be millions and millions of koalas in southeast Queensland, though now there are only a few tens of thousands left in the wild. The major threats to koalas include habitat loss, disease, car strikes and dogs. Koalas are protected, though their habitats aren't. Since European settlement, around 80% of koala habitat has been decimated. There are 1,000 plus new residents coming to southeast Queensland every week pushing our koalas out of their habitat and home ranges. Loss of habitat results in higher chances of injury from dogs as their homes are being destroyed and replaced with houses. Without their habitat, koalas are most vulnerable to dog attacks when travelling in open ground to find new trees and while living in suburban areas. Koalas have very low fat percentage, meaning if koalas are hit by cars or bitten by dogs, it can puncture their internal organs, causing them to die. A small amount of change can stress koalas out, weakening their immune system. Dog barks stress koalas out too, causing disease and severe trauma, which can kill them. Smaller dogs are less threatening, though a quick bite can still kill a koala. Did you know, between 1997 and 2008, an average of 130 koalas each year were killed by dogs. At least two koalas are killed by dogs every week in southeast Queensland. An average of 230 koalas are admitted into hospital from dog attacks alone. At your home, planting trees along your fence line, leaving existing trees and ensuring your fence is climbable can help koalas to safely move away from threats. Putting fauna friendly fencing around your home allows wildlife to get out though not be able to get into your backyard. To protect koalas from dogs, ensure your dogs are properly controlled, fully restrained or tethered, especially at night when koalas are most active. If you see a koala in your backyard, move your dog out of sight of the koala, keep your dog inside in a crate or a kennel at night and take extra care when koalas are breeding from July to September. When you go out, put your dog on a balcony, in a fenced area or tether your dog out of reach of occupied koala trees. Keep dogs inside from barking, which stresses out koalas, making them more susceptible to deadly diseases. Obedience training will discourage your dog from chasing wildlife and regular exercise will tire your dog out, making it less likely to chase wildlife. Entertain your dog, take it for walks, swims and use food to entertain. If you ever see an injured, sick or dead koala, please call Daisy Hill Koala Centre Ambulance on 32991032 or Redlands After Hours Wildlife Ambulance on 38334031 and remember to leave the koala alone and restrain your dog. Free wildlife friendly dog behaviour seminars are held by Daisy Hill Koala Centre along with Logan City Council and RSPCA. For more information, email koala.centre at ehp.qld.gov.au. Thank you for watching, I hope you learnt something and remember to keep your pets away from wildlife.